today's episode of Bobby Shows. Today I'm going to review a product which is a wireless charging uh, technology. Um, I've got um, this Qi Enable wireless charging pad from eBay. The dream behind this technology is actually to um, uh, wirelessly transfer power like in Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So user can just hold that device in space and then uh, they can make the a device thinner and reduce the size of the battery and then just charge the battery wirelessly over the air. That's the dream behind. Currently, there are two dominant um, technology behind this wireless charging, which is dominating the market. The first one is inductive charging. The other one is resonance charging. Um, the inductive charging technology is actually driven by two big companies. The first one is PowerMap. Another one is Wireless Power Consortium, which they come up with their own slogan using a Q&I, which is coming from a Chinese word of Xi, meaning power. Another technology is resonance and wireless charging. Um, this one is a little bit different from the previous one and driven by Wytrix City in USA and also power by proxy in New Zealand. Um, the two technology is actually very similar that there will be two coils of power transfer. The first one is the base, has to be connected to power supply. And the second coil is to be put into the smartphone or smart devices. Another technology is resonance and wireless charging. Um, this one is a little bit different from the previous one and driven by Wytrix City in USA and also power by proxy in New Zealand. So in order to charge um, the phone in resonance technology, the secondary coil have to be in that resonate frequency in order to get into the sweet spot and start charging. But um, uh, this competition between the two technology or two standards has been going on for a while but we are actually seeing the clear winners now which is the um, inductive charging. The um, devices, number of devices coming with power mat standard is a little bit roughly around 100 devices. For Qi standard is using uh, 150 megahertz um, recent, recent, um, frequencies. There are more than 200 devices now equipped with Qi standard. So uh, the dominance player right now is absolutely the Qi standard. Another one, Wytrixity and Power Proxy. Um, they are not in too many devices, but um, Proxy had just uh, launched the world first. Um, double a battery that have a wireless charging capability so you can put it in to your um, daily appliances like um, remote control or watches i think the um, the only reason we push this technology forward is that when the wireless charging coil is built in into the smartphone in every smartphone and then there will be plenty of um, power pad available in the market. As for Apple, they have been waiting for this technology to mature and I think one comment from them is that why use wireless charging? Because the other end of the wireless charging pass you need to connect to the power supply. This not easing anything but even make it more complicated. But I think they are also planning to uh, release a wallet charging for their devices soon when the launch of iWatch and iPhone 6 is also pretty much rumored to have built-in wallet charging technology. So more devices coming out. For a phone that have no wallet charging capability, you can add on this functionality by purchasing another chips or case. Um, that just attach this one to your phone and then it will receive power from the transmitting pad.
There are solutions for iPhone, Android, iPad mini, but not for an iPad Air yet because it draws too much power. The limitation of the transmitting power from the wireless charging is probably up to 1 ampere only, while the iPad Air draw more than 1 ampere, so it cannot charge. 